Hey, what's up guys? My name's Nick and this is Nick's Garage Builds. Uh, this video is to inform people how to program the Kelly controller to the EC4P um, per, uh, per Electro & Co. Uh, you do need to have a Bluetooth dongle and um, any Android device. I'm using my kid's Fire tablet as we are an iOS family and this is the only Android device I have. This is gonna be kind of a boring one, so grab your beverage of choice and let's get to it. All right, everyone. Um, I'm gonna take you through the install of the Kelly Controller Bluetooth app. I don't have anything Android. I'm an iOS guy. Um, I think like most people are, but uh, I do have a kid's Fire tablet. It's the only Android software I have, but there are some workarounds you need to do to make this work. So to start off, we'll get the Kelly um, app file. So I'll start a new tab so you can see. If we just go up here and we type in Kelly controller com, we can go right here. Then we're gonna go to the support, we're gonna click the three tabs up top, support, and then manuals and software. Now, there's a whole range of controllers you can choose from. You should probably see what controller you have on your serial number. I have a KVD 7212NX, but they're all KVDs. So I'm going to download the Kelly KVD configuration program, the Android version. And that should start, if you see up top here, if I drag down, um, it will download that file. Obviously, you can see I've done it a few times because I'm trying to show you guys. Here's the issue. So if we go to Utilities, Documents, and then I go to Download, you can see it's here, which is great, but it says down here, no application available to view the file because it's a zip file, and this doesn't have the capability to do that. So luckily, there's plenty of apps out there. So if we just go to the App Store and just search zip file, zip file opener for, or zip file extractor. The B1 free archiver worked perfectly. So we're gonna download that. Now to open it, you can either go to your home screen or click it here, it's installing still. Uh, it should also, on mine, it should put it on the home screen, right down here. So we'll click on that and we'll open it up. Now in here you have a slew of documents that are probably already on this thing already. I just go to download and then it's right here. It's the DC audio user English KBD.zip. So we're gonna click on that. So I chose to extract to the folder where it was instead of here. Um, I don't really know about this app. I don't really wanna work in it. So I'm gonna put it in the area where it was. We go back to our documents. And now we go to the DC user English KVD folder because that's your zip file. Just keep clicking in and here it is. Here is your AP. This always comes up for some reason. It says it needs an update. You just hit install. It does absolutely nothing. And then you open it. Okay. Yes, the motor is not running. This is obvious. Obviously choose the Bluetooth comm if you're using that. Um, if you're using your PC, you would just do the F2, FT232 comm. So yes. Now, here's the thing. You still haven't connected your Bluetooth. So I'm gonna go home and I'm gonna go to my utilities again, or I'm sorry, not utilities, settings. We're gonna to go to Bluetooth, and then we're gonna to go to Bluetooth is turned on, and we're gonna to go to pair a Bluetooth device. Now, all these come up for me, and I imagine it's probably very similar to you guys. And for some reason, whatever is sent isn't doesn't really have a name. So here's what I recommend. Right now, mine's plugged in. I'm going to unplug it, and then I'm gonna see what disappears. Give it time to figure that out, I didn't see anything change, so we're gonna hit scan again. Okay, so these are all the thing that's up. Now I'm gonna plug the Bluetooth back in. 
and then we're going to see what pops up. Okay, this one's popped up after I plugged it in. So the passcode is one, two, three, four. All right. So it says we're paired, paired devices. So let's go back to our APK. Let's open that. It's, obviously it says it needs to install again. It's gonna go through a little thing and then hit open. All right. So yes, the motor is not running. Bluetooth com again. All right. So I'm gonna hit connect. It comes up with this pair of devices. You do have to click it. Um, it doesn't always connect the first time. I had to do it two or three times the first time I connected. This time it went right away, so that's perfect. Now we're gonna hit read. So it should bring up all of these things to choose from. Now, E and C or Electro and Co wants you to change, uh, I believe, seven settings based on your battery and what they want for their motor. The um, max current per, uh, I have it 60, but that's not right. I'm running a Saron battery, so that should be 40. That's about 80 amps continuous. Um, I was pushing it, but it's too hard on this battery and it gets the motor way too hot. So we'll change that. Then uh, we are going to do the high temp. Where is it? See, did you notice how, that's another goofy thing of course, this pops up, I hit the arrow, but nothing's going down. So I have to hit the down arrow to bring that back down. So the high temp, we're just gonna set that to a one, which is basically an on signal for programming. Down arrow, we're gonna put the high temp cutoff at 170 per Electron Co. And then we're gonna do the high temp resume at 120. Also per Electro and Co. Okay. Now, the last thing we gotta do is our ref output. We have to click yes, and then auto identify yes. Now we're going to want to do right. Came back, says data right complete. Um, I like to verify, so looks like everything stayed.